What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to be pairing Girl Scout cookies with books. In my last video, I recommended books that are set at camp because that's my favorite trope. And in that video, I said I have to pair Girl Scout cookies with books because it's Girl Scout season. So here we are. Just a disclaimer, I don't have all of the Girl Scout cookies. These are my preferences um, and just the ones that I thought would go best with books. Let me know your favorite Girl Scout cookie down below. These are also like the US ones, not um, outside of the country. I don't really know much about Girl Scouts. I just know that they have good cookies. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first Girl Scout cookie I have is my favorite one, and this is the Lemonades. They are so good, and I am pairing this with an addicting book because they are such an addicting cookie. I could honestly eat the whole pack. So I am pairing this with an addicting book, and for me, that was Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. I love this book. It is about a girl named Sophie who lives in a small town, and she's trying to get a famous singer, Megan Pleasant, to come to a fundraiser since Megan Pleasant is from their small town, but it is so much more. I just absolutely love this book. I devoured it when I read it, and it was just so addicting to read. I think that this is like the last book I've read that I've just really stayed up reading it and spent the whole day reading. Next, I have Samoas, and actually, I don't think I've ever had them. I think maybe I've had them like once in my life, but I don't remember. So I had to go over to my friend Becca, Becca with a book, and they told me that this is their favorite one, so this is dedicated to them. And for them, it was a comforting read. For my comforting read, I have Check Please by Nagazi Okozo. I love this book. It is just so comforting. This is about a boy named Biddy who loves baking and he loves hockey and he's also a vlogger. And this is just such a sweet series and I can't wait for the second one to come out. This is definitely a comforting read for me. Hockey is surprisingly a comforting subject for me. If you've read this book, there's just something about it that's super comforting. I don't know if it's Biddy or just the characters or the color tones that she chose. I just really love this book and I can't wait for the second installment to come out. Next, I think that these are actually the number one Girl Scout cookie in the U.S., and these are Thin Mints. These also happen to be my favorites, but Lemonades will always be number one. Um, but Thin Mints, I chose a refreshing book just because they're very refreshing to eat. Since I love graphic novels, a refreshing graphic novel for me is Snapdragon by Cat Lee. This is a middle grade graphic novel about a girl named Snap and she meets someone named Jack. Jax is rumored to be a witch and everyone is afraid of her and Snap is not and she befriends her and it's just such a nice queer story. I really enjoy it. I highly recommend it. It's out now. Next is s'mores and I actually like these ones. I haven't had them in a while but I do remember enjoying them when I had them and for this I'm pairing it with a book that is about camping just because when I think of s'mores I think of camping and outdoors. For this I'm going with Two Night Owl from Dogfish by Meg Walzer and Holly Goldbrick Sloan. This is a gay parent trap retelling and it is a middle grade that follows these two girls and they find out that their dads want them to meet since their dads are currently dating. And so they're forced to go to a camp together and it is just such a nice story. I talk about it more in my camping book recommendation so definitely go over there if you are interested. Next are tagalongs and oh my god these are so good and they have the chocolate with the peanut butter that's like my favorite combination. So for this, I'm going with a book with layers. I haven't talked about this book in a while, but this is Top 10 by Katie Catugno. I love this book with my whole heart. There's a lot going on in this. Um, we get a past to present perspective and we just get to learn about them through flashbacks. And personally, I love that in a book. This also follows Ryan who deals with concussions as he is a hockey player. And also Gabby is dealing with social anxiety. And there's just a lot that happens in here. There's a lot of layers, but I just absolutely love it. Just like I love me a good tag along. 
I love a good book with layers. Of the Girl Scout cookies that we actually have in my house, I actually have the next one, which are peanut butter sandwiches. So for this, I am going with a book series and I don't really talk about this a lot. So I feel like it is the time to talk about it. This is the Geekerella series, I guess it's gonna be now because the third book is coming out. But right now I just have the duology. So we have Geekerella and the Princess and the Fangirl, which are two retellings. Geekerella is a geek retelling of Cinderella. And we have the Princess and the Fangirl, which is a Princess and the Papa retelling. I just love this series. It is so good. I've never been a retelling fan. And until these, I got on the retelling train and I haven't jumped off. The third book is coming out soon and it is Bookish and the Beast and I am just so excited to see how she does another retelling. Like Ashley Poston is just so good at writing retellings and I will read any retelling that she writes. The last cookie I have is Thanks A Lot and I'm pairing this with a book that I would like to just say thank you to and I can't end a video without talking about Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. And I'm just saying thank you because I'm just so glad that I've read this book. So thank you to Reggie from Don't Stop Reading for recommending this to me. And now I love it so much. Um, and yeah, that was me pairing books with Girl Scout cookies. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely go and watch my recommendations video if you haven't. And let me know in the comments what your favorite Girl Scout cookie is. Thank you all for watching. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you next time.